Good day guys, Austin here, and today, yet again, we're going to do something a little different. So in other words, we're going to do something a little bit in the norm. <laughs> right, if you've been following my Facebook page, you will know that basically I am working on a different project. Uh, I've been trying to keep myself busy while I've been waiting for my internet to be switched on. Hopefully it will also be switched on in the next couple of days. I've been assured for my internet service provider. However, in the meantime, to keep myself busy, I have been working on a, well, what I like to call the Megacade. Uh, the Megacade is basically a setup that I've been working on of a old smashed up Sega Mega Drive. I've stripped out the inners because basically they're all burnt out and I've replaced them with a Pi 2. Now I'm going to show you two parts of it. I'm going to show you the uh, assembly of actually getting all the software up and running and working as intended and then later on down the line once I've got all the bits and bobs worked out I'm actually going to show you how I put it together and the step-by-step -step process if you wish to follow down the same route. However, you can place it in what the fuck you want to be honest. I'm just going to show you how to do it. Now, the setup of this is going to include fucking everything. I mean, I'm going to show you um, how to install it I'm going to show you and give you all the games, all the ROMs for all the systems. I mean, I'm talking about all the MAME setups, all the Mega Drive, all the Nintendo, Neo Geo, um, Scum, Genesis 32X, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Master System, Sinclair Spectrum, Amiga, Atari 2600, Atari 800, Atari 7800, Game Boy, you get the gist. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. I'm going to give you the complete setup. All you need to do is put it together. I mean, Jesus Christ. I may as well wipe your ass as well. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's coming soon. I'm just. Basically, what's happened is I got it all sorted and then today I wake up and basically we've got a huge update that's come along and it's brought so many new features to me that I can't resist updating and working on it a little further um, however uh, it's just a case of tweaks so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you a list of some things which you know once this is released so you can get stuck straight in um, encourage you to buy so you can actually get yourself involved with this process now, obviously, I'm not going to tell you to suck eggs, uh, but I am going to give you some handy hints of the kind of things that we're going to be expecting. This isn't going to be an expensive thing. I know Hyperspin, if you want to play advanced systems and all that kind of stuff, then basically you're going to be, you know, shelling out quite a lot of money because the the emulation on the computer is um, quite demanding. However, these guys are. Uh, RetroPie and Emulation Station and all them kind of emulators they have actually ploughed in a hell of a lot of time and programming and they've actually brought this up to a decent level a decent level where Dreamcast is almost emulated perfectly Saturn is almost on its way uh, PlayStation is flawless as far as I'm aware of and I've never had any issues with it so far so you know it's fucking second to none this kind of stuff so again Ramble, waffle, ramble. <laughs> Back on topic. These are the kind of things that you're going to need. Obviously, first off, the Raspberry Pi 2. You know, that's the basic. A, a Raspberry Pi 1 and a Raspberry Pi B+. Plus, they don't cut it anymore. Throw it in the bin. Use it as a doorstop. Put it as a dog collar. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to see any of that shit anymore. I've got, the, I've got a few of them and... <sighs> They're in the cupboard, and I don't want to see them ever again. They are too fucking slow and annoying. Raspberry Pi 2, you're my dream come true. <laughs> okay then, so yeah, you're going to need that. You're also going to need an SD card. I vouch for the Samsung Evo. Now, the Samsung Evo is... I've never had any issues. I started off buying cheapies, you know, you see them on eBay. They went for a couple of quid. But the problem is, they work at best for a couple of days, and then they... You just lose all your data. You constantly have to back them up. You constantly have to buy new ones. Just invest in a half decent one. Luckily, the technology in terms of SD cards is updating, and so the, not only the size of them has come on leaps and bounds, but also the quality of them has come on leaps and bounds. This means that if you get the old standard size ones, in terms of, in my example, a 32 gig one, then the price is almost a third of that from six months ago. So I'm going for the Samsung Evo 32 gig now. Hopefully I can in the future 
like I said, uh, give you a shortcut of doing this where I make an image of my SD card, I put it onto you guys, you guys just load up the image and off you go. The problem is I've heard there's knock on effects in terms of the cards happen to be identical. Now I'm giving you this one, if you haven't got one and if you've got the pounds then I encourage you to buy this one because if I do manage to make an image it cuts all the work out at the end of the day doesn't it? But you know, if you've got one already you can just do the hard way. It's not that hard. Basically I'm doing it all for you. So yeah, Samsung Evo 32-bit and that's what the uh, the packaging looks like if you want to look for it. I will put links in the description below. These aren't the ones that I actually bought, however they are as close to as possible. I cannot guarantee they work, I'm just giving you some examples. Um, so yeah, there you go. Also, I work through Wi-Fi. Um, you know, it's 2015. I know Ethernet is a lot faster and more reliable. However, <laughs> I haven't got time for cables. I've got enough fucking cables around my house as it is. So I use uh, Wi-Fi and all my setup will be done using the Wi-Fi process. So, I mean, these are a couple of dollars, you know, maximum. Um, again, I'll put a link down below. But, you know, these are almost plug and play. You just have to change a config file and that's you set up for Wi-Fi for the rest of your life. <laughs> yep, so there you go. You're also going to need a keyboard. Now I know, again, it's 2015, there's keyboards everywhere. I can't move for keyboards in my house. Literally the floor is full of them. I could carpet my entire house with keyboards. However, this one, if you've got the dollar and you are in abundance of cash and if you haven't got this already I encourage you to buy this for all your setups basically I give this away for Christmas gifts you know family uh, do you want toys no I give them a keyboard <laughs> basically I give them the Logitech K400 if you're uh, serious about emulation you want a reliable keyboard one that you can just store away get out always work this one is the way to go honest I can't big this up enough a very good keyboard but again, you can use any you want. I mean, I've never found a keyboard that, or mouse that doesn't work with the uh, Pi. So, you know, you don't have to buy one if you've already got one. I'm just giving you a heads up and advice, that's all. Um, also, I'm going to be working off a wireless Xbox 360. Now, you can go out there and you can buy the official Xbox 360 pad with the PC receiver. However, these cost a little bit more than your average one. And if you've already got a 360 pad, then basically you all you need to be able to make this work is the dongle. Obviously, you can use the wired ones. However, I'm a wireless person and well I just don't like wires so I found this it doesn't have any issues whatsoever as far as I'm aware it's a cheap one I mean it was like three four dollars all the way from China it did take a week or two to, to arrive however it was spot on when it got here now I've got actually got a few of these I use them on my main PC and I use them on my pies so you know I, I can't fault them um, obviously you are going to need the uh, 360 pad you can use PS3 pads for most of the stuff however I know some people are having issues with other variations of pads I can't comment whether third-party 360 pads work I've never tried I always buy official um, I get them from Amazon to be honest it's found it's the most reliable and cheapest place going they also seem to do their own special ones which I believe came from uh, bundled packs which no longer exist they don't come with any packaging apart from a white box and they are the old style Xbox 360 pads which tend to be a little better in terms of the sticks so yeah you know a bit of a heads up a little extra information there um, also what I use this isn't essential but I use a hub um, later on down the line I'm going to be adding uh, external drives in terms of uh, self-powered ones so you know you don't need extra plugs or anything like that so I've used this one I'm gonna put a link as the one that I bought I can't comment on any others however for me this is working again I'm only giving you what I've been using and you know give you some extra advice but this one has been working no problem with me I've actually stripped it down so it's ready to go into my uh, master system uh, sorry Mega Drive case or Genesis if you're in the US um, right then so you are obviously going to have to need a TV and all the other bits and bobs. Uh, once we start going into the actual case modifications to actually install this in, but you know, you can 
you don't even need a case for this kind of stuff or you can use, use your standard one but I'm going to actually be putting all this into a Sega, Mas uh, Sega Mega Drive case I'm going to uh, mod all the um, like boot screens, uh, themes, all that kind of stuff and I'm also going to be not only doing the ROMs but I'm also going to be including the new Kodi so basically what that's going to allow you to do is watch all your latest films whether it be in your collection or online whether they be legitimate or non-legitimate but I will show you how to do that I'll show you how to make it look good um, we're also going to be looking at um, like I said extending the drives the Kodi implementation so you can get your movies you can get your music and everything streamed to your PC now not only does that include mu music movies and TV shows I'm also going to show you Jesus Christ this is like a, a never-ending list of goodies <laughs> I'm also going to show you how you can play your computer in another room in the house or as long as it's on the network of your house you can play your main computer as in the massive rig that, that I've got downstairs is. I can play that in bed through my Pi. Now I can do that with an Xbox 360 pad and I can play all my Steam games, I can play on my Hyperspin setup, I can play whatever I want to be honest and it's all streamed to me almost instantaneous so I don't notice anything straight to my TV through the Pi. Now I can't fault it whatsoever. I mean, basically, what I can do is instead of me going out and buying loads of computers to fit in all the house, I just put pies everywhere. <laughs> I sound like a baker. Uh, yeah, just put pies everywhere, and basically that acts as you know, like a little computer that streams all my stuff. So no matter what room I'm in, I can always watch movies, I can always watch TV, I can always play all my games, and it's fucking epic. Um, so yeah, the only requirements for this are. For the enable this section to go in, in other words, to enable the streaming of games, you're gonna need a GeForce NVIDIA card. Now, I believe they only used to work on 600 series and over. Um, obviously, it's a 900 series now, so you know, even if you're on a 600, you're a little behind the curve. But they are very good cards still. Now, I believe they have developed and they are cross-platform now. However, I can't guarantee. But again, the caveat for the streaming side of it all is that your main computer must have at least an NVIDIA card with the G4 stuff going on with it. Now, if you don't even know what that is, then basically you ain't got it. <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, that's that, guys. Um, like I said, next couple of days, I'm going to be releasing the... Uh, PlayStation upload is probably going to be the Monday now and also and the Amiga upload including the guide including all the good stuff that you always get the art packs and all that kind of jazz um, I'm also going to be looking at uh, updating my rig now that I should have internet by that point uh, so I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade to Rocket Launcher if you haven't done that already how to iron out a lot of the bugs and also for anybody out there who hasn't even started the process yet I'm going to be also showing a separate guide that's how to start from scratch with Rocket Launcher just to get everybody up and running so yeah that's about it guys and sorry there isn't much else for you today and this has been mostly me waffling on bullshit for the last hour or so <laughs> but yeah I just want to give you all a heads up get you all prepped because things are going to start moving quite considerable in the next uh, week or so so you hang on in there guys godspeed good luck and I will catch you later bye